Right, guys, let's get warmed up for the gym. So I'm in the home gym. And you're probably thinking, Connor, why are you getting warmed up in your home gym when you're going to the fucking gym? Just warm up in there. Well, bro, what I've got to say to that is I live 30 seconds away from this gym. And we're not quite ready to go. So I'm just going to get the steps in, get warmed up, drink my pre, and then I'll be ready to go. So shut your mouth. Stop questioning things. But here we are. So pre scoop of uh do not fucking miss by training by jp nutrition 10 percent off connor l10 yeah 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 and yeah superset that with hydromax for that hydration formula using that pre my god putting the pre in with the hydromax pumps are crazy energy's crazy no fucking around best workouts of my life i feel great there's nothing worse than being dehydrated when you work out shocking affects your strength affects your pumps it's the last thing you want Okay, so upper body today, nine and a half weeks of Houston, we're trying to put another 20 pounds on. How do we do it? We eat loads of food and we train our backside off. So today we've got upper body, right? And we're training with Robin, training with my client Paul. It's been nice linking up with Paul a little bit, getting some more sessions in with him. And a lot of the time, what you find is when you think you're training hard, you can train with people who know how to train hard. You think, fucking hell, what I've been doing. Even with yourself, like for me, I will train like the year prior and think, this is the hardest I can ever train. And I get a year more experienced. And I think, what was I doing last year? Like I'm 15 years into training now. And every year I still think I've been a pussy the year before. <laughs> so it's funny how it works. So yeah, it'd be nice. It's going to be a good workout from both. So right, yeah, let's talk through today's workouts. What have we got? Upper body upper body sessions are long man really fucking long train with someone else who's just as strong as you all that warming up per exercise take two hours which isn't bad when you live 30 seconds away from the gym like i do but when you're a 30 45 minute drive big commitment it's three and a half hours so yeah upper body upper body a lot of focus going in so for my training split currently push pull legs rest upper lower so run upper uh, we're starting off like you should do with most of your workouts guys is that main heavy compound work so for chest we're starting off with the gym leco converging press which is a beautiful piece of kit and if you ever use a gym leco converging press you'll know how difficult this machine is to load up so so difficult like crazy 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 just remember how the weight is loaded and when you hit that stretch position you feel like pecs are going to snap off they're that they're that loaded up under that that sort of like tension and that fatigue that builds up but what i'm finding is using that kit and progressing it every week i'm getting relatively strong on it my chest growth is just phenomenal currently i feel like it's filling up i feel like it's filling out filling the gaps sick sick so we're hitting two top two well one top set one back off set with that and after we've done that moving into the pec deck for some stretch work which we will be doing one all out set 40 rep giant set and if you've never done a giant set before you should do it because the pump is crazy especially in that stretch position moving through 40 reps like your chest can be full as a fucking host it just is the pump is going to be that fucking big you're going to want to rip your top off right there in the gym and check it out in the mirror right maybe don't do that but yeah that's what what we have got so for the 40 rep giant set guys if you want to put this into your workout this is how you're going to do it pick a weight that you can do for 15 reps before you hit failure once you do that you're going to rest 10 15 seconds and you're going to go again when you go again you might hit what 10 reps so you're at 25 reps now we've got 15 reps to go go again after 10 to 15 seconds you might hit five reps rest 10 15 seconds go again you might hit another five reps You've got five reps left to hit 40. you might hit three you might hit two after that keep going keep hitting them rest pauses all out set crazy you put that in i guarantee your chest is going to grow okay after that primary shoulder work i'm not doing any pressing i actually did some shoulder pressing the other day that's why i'm not doing it but we're focusing on the lateral head atlantis lateral machine that after that we're moving into the seated lateral machine and the reason you want to do so much lateral work is because you'll never have enough side delt ever no one watching this video has got enough side delt i don't have enough side delt i wish i did but you can never be wide enough but what you can have is too much front delt for your physique 
and so many guys press so much constantly and that front delt just gets overworked so then the side delt just doesn't get the, the room it needs to grow and the rear head gets a lot of work when you train back and for me it's a really strong point on me on my body the posterior head of my delt so i don't really do any direct work for that but if you you know if it is a part of your physique where you do need to develop it. Yeah, chuck three, four working sets in, reverse pet deck, rear dumbbell flies, something like that, and that'll help. So after we hit them two side lateral machines, we're moving to the main back work. So that's gonna be four working sets, chest supported machine roll, high hitting that upper back, which, you know, like I just said, it's gonna hit the rear delt as well within that movement. Back for me is a strong point on my physique. So this has only got four working sets in this upper body there, you know. Shoulders have got more, side delts got more. But you need to put emphasis and volume to the areas of your physique that need it the most. And for me, shoulders, chest, arms <laughs> need more than my back. Overall, weekly anyway. My back does have its own separate day. <clears throat> so after we've done that, uh, unilateral preach curl for the biceps, three sets. And then moving to the tricep push downs and smash the fuck out of them. What I'm finding though is doing my bicep work unilaterally is allowing way more growth, especially through the weaker arm. Anyone watching this has got a weaker arm. I guarantee it. Most guys have half an inch difference in their arms. I have half an inch difference. But what I'm finding is doing it unilaterally. It's allowing the weaker arm to catch up. I start with a strong arm. I force the weaker arm to hit the same reps. I used to do it differently in the past. I do weaker arm first. That might get 12 reps and that breezes 12 reps. But no. I'll start with stronger, I might get 15 reps. Then I force 15 reps, forcing more growth. Is the science behind that? I don't fucking know. Does it work for me? Damn right it does, and it'll probably work for you too. So I'd recommend, I recommend you do that, okay? So guys, that's the full upper body work that we talked through. I will do a commentary over the videos, no montage bullshit, I'm bored of that. I wanna educate, I wanna show you guys and talk through you know, how the workouts look, why they're beneficial, why we're doing what we're doing. And that way, it can give you more value. You can use it and you can go and grow to be an absolute beast yourself. So, yeah, we need to get in there. We've got nine and a half weeks to me and Robin in Houston. So the goal is to be big as fuck for that. We've got a lot of growing to do, but we are moving. We are getting bigger. Waist is staying tight. Calories are high, 3,700 currently. Yeah, that's enough. I'm fucking out of breath. Just walking this little treadmill. I'm warm. Warm as fuck. Yeah, I'm going to finish off this pre. We'll get in the gym. We'll have a great workout with Robin and Paul. And yeah, I will see you in there. Exercise number one. A gym Leco Converging Press. This is such a heavy, heavy piece of machinery. <laughs> if you've not used this gym Leco Press, you do not understand what I mean. <laughs> but what sort of like chest gains i'm seeing from progressing this piece of kit every week is phenomenal i just feel like my chest is getting thicker and thicker and thicker it's absolutely insane so we're actually up by five kilos per side and up two reps this week so yeah you could say that the chest gains are on fleek and your boy is progressing like crazy so i'm whacking four plates on this bad boy next week you absolutely no doubt about that the room exercise number two, 40 rep giant set on the pec deck. I can't remember what reps this were. This might have been from like rep 25 or some shit, but managed to hit PB up 10 kilos from last week. I believe this was 100 kilos. And you see Paul here getting ready for the spot. But guys, for these, you've got to work on that squeeze, got to work on that stretch. If you're not, if you're cutting them short, you're doing yourself a disservice. So don't fuck around, squeeze it, stretch it. So just hitting a different angle for you here so you can see kind of the level of stretch I get. So we're not over stretching to the point of where the shoulder starts to rise up. Your stretch is kind of going to be personal to you and your frame. For me, this is plenty. I do have pretty tight pecs, but I feel this like a motherfucking line you wouldn't believe. So it's really trying to squeeze and pecs together. Yeah, this was the end of the set. I was dead after this. So that's primary chest work done. Moving into the main work for the for the deltoids, so side lateral machine, Atlantis side lateral, unbelievable piece of kit, it's very maneuverable, these bars move back and forward, as long as sideways as well, and you can just get the right angle for you, so for me, 
I ate four sets of 12, 15, was up seven kilos this week on this. After it, my delts were pumped up to fuck. Give them a go. So now I'm moving into three sets of the seated lateral machine. These are unbelievable. Such a strange piece of kit, but it does a trick. And if you've used a seated lateral machine before, you know that the tension on the delts is just way better than dumbbells. It just is. And the pump you get is just indescribable. So this works out seven sets on machine laterals overall. And it's working, guys, because the delts are growing. So now into back four working sets on the seated machine row. So it's only four sets on back for this upper body day. And I have a pull day, which is exclusively back. So my overall training volume for back is actually not as much as chest, shoulders, legs, stuff like that, purely because back is a stronger part on my body. So the volume is getting prioritized into areas that need it more, you know, delts, chest, arms, things like that. But for this, four sets does a trick at the end of the workout, absolutely blowing the back up, getting a great pump. Okay, I'm hitting you with some bonus footage of Paul hitting the Jim Leco shoulder press here because I didn't film biceps or triceps because I'm a fucking idiot and I'm great at doing that. So this is me acting like I'm going to help Paul when in reality I'm going to watch him die under the weight. <laughs> now, but uh, Paul's a client of mine, great friend of mine, and he's absolutely smashing at the moment. His body is changing on a weekly basis, leaning out, growing, like his arms, as you can tell, the chest, shoulder tying is looking unbelievable. And the guy's in his 40s, man. No excuses. Training his bollocks off. It's been nice training with Paul um, over the last week or two. We're going to get more sessions in, so you probably see him a lot more on the channel. But yeah, fair play to him. The great set of shoulder presses, and that's the workout done. So that's upper body day done with Robin and Paul. And we're going to hit you with more of these informative style videos rather than being all youtube -y, fucking bouncing around everywhere where the reality is you get nothing from it. If people want to watch this style of stuff that I'm going to start putting out, great. If they don't, don't give a fuck. Whatever. I'm going to put out the content that I think is going to serve you, serve you best. And stuff that I like putting together it can be quite a, a pain in the ass to try and be very YouTube-y and have scenes bouncing around and do X, Y, and Z that don't actually achieve anything. But at the end of the day, I'm a coach. I want to help people. Um, yeah, we want to be mildly entertaining. But the uh, the videos after this are going to be way better than what I've just posted up. But I'm posting this up anyway. It's not perfect. But I'm getting it out there. And we're going to have a lot of me talking whilst training. Not commentary style, but me in the gym chatting with the microphone on. <laughs> so, yeah, you're going to enjoy them. I hope you liked this video, guys. If you like the video, please click like. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to the video. Got tons of content coming out now okay we found found some rhythm with it found the style that we want to do and it's gonna be it's gonna be good gonna hit you with it okay so yeah me and the dog we'll see you in the next video peace out